Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I, I remember recruiting Skyler many years ago when I was at a different place and was always, I was always impressed um, not only with his ability, which is very easy to see on film, but with how mature of a young man he is. Uh, I'm, I've, I've, with how much we also rely on that quarterback, um, his learning curve, and, and there's still obviously things that we're going to continue working through. Um, has been extremely impressive. You know, the ability and him continuing to play fast and as things slow down for him within this new system, I know he's only going to play faster, but uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with how he is taking control of that huddle because at that position, especially as an offense line coach, you look at it and say, man, that's what we want in our quarterback. As an offense line coach, that's what I want in the quarterback, somebody who can, can take control of that huddle. Has your... Uh perception of the excitement level of the kids surprised you in any way? Yeah, I've been very pleased with it, you know, surprised. You know, I, I just, you see a lot of hunger out there with these kids. You, you see that they really want to be great. And um, now it's our jobs as coaches to continue to push them in that direction. You know, just it's in human nature. We, you, you veer a little bit off that path. Um, I think we all can admit to that, and whether it's football or in life. But, uh, um, yeah, that's, that's the one thing. Now, again, we're six practices into it, and we continually remind them, you know, this honeymoon phase, if you will, or that uh, – new car scent is going to wear off a little bit. Now how are we continuing to move forward? And that's, that's to me, going to be the big challenge here over the next eight, nine practices. Thanks, yep. Connor, my name is Scott Fritz with your yes, Paracad. Absolutely, Pl Scott. To meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Scott. I, I'm uh, writing about um, various experienced guys coming back, mm -hmm. and you mentioned Adam, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but could you please give me a couple words on um, Franz? Yeah, Scott is uh, extremely mature. Um, He's extremely talented. He's got great feet, great balance. Uh, you know, having that experience at that position and knowing little nuances of the game that you see on film mm -hmm. that, you know, Coach Dickey did a great job of, of preparing him for and making him that kind of player has been absolutely enormous, you know, because there's some things on film that we may not have had an opportunity to drill or to talk about that he is naturally doing. Mm -hmm. um, and with him having that game experience it's been enormous and I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about Tyler Mitchell I, I love everything about that kid everything about that kid I'm so impressed with his toughness mm -hmm. his willingness to compete his willingness to learn and I'm really excited about him as a player and, and you know you can continue going down that list of you, you know yeah Josh is now he's a, he's a younger kid so um my big challenge is because he is such a big physical kid, I want to see that show up a little bit more. And that was a point of emphasis here going into yesterday's practice. And you can see him go out there and succeed. And a lot of times, just like anything else in life, you, you got to fail before you truly succeed. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, he, like everyone else, has had his quote unquote failures. Uh, but you saw him take a step with those things. And, and another senior who's quiet and uh, I know uh, is a transfer to the program, but Colt, my, I'm, I really like him. I, I really, uh, he's, you know, we were talking about our preparation in meetings outside of the meeting room. How much are you getting on your iPad studying? You know, how much notes are you taking? And, uh, you know, he sits right next to me in meetings and, you know, I, I take his notebook and I'm impressed. Hmm. I'm impressed with the type of notes that he's taken and it shows up. It shows up when guys buy in and they take it upon themselves. And the ownership that Coach Kleiman talked about the first day that he met with the team, that's exactly what we're talking about. Pleasure. Thank yes, you. very nice sure, being here. It varies depending on your talent level, mm -hmm. your depth, all those things. But are you more a believer in having like a swing backup tackle for both spots in guard, or do you want to have a backup right tackle, backup left tackle? You know, my philosophy, and I tell the recruits this off, uh, often, is we need to find the five best. Yeah. Now, whatever that combination might be, we are going to find the five best out there. It's in each one of those guys has to have a willingness to learn to play a multitude of positions. Right. So, you, you know, it's we're just watching film up there and Scout was playing left guard. Right. And then two snaps later, um, to give uh, uh, Mitch a blow, he was playing right guard, you know. And, and that gives you the versatility 
and that gives you an ability now down the road. There's a lot of the young guys who I am challenging. You have to play a multiple multitude of positions yeah. because I don't know how this entire puzzle is going to fit. You know, three months down the road, four months down the road, into game seven, into game eight. So. Our biggest challenge on the offense line, I think it's for any offense line coach throughout the country, is to say, hey, we need to find the best combination of five out there. And again, this could vary player to player, but you typically find it harder to shift a guy from the left side to the right side or from tackle to guard? You know, that's a great question. And, uh, you know, you say, okay, what I try to do is one or the other. Right. You know, if you're going to play guard and tackle, I'd like to say, all right, you got to play right guard and right yeah. tackle. And then you look at a young man like um, Christian Duffy, who I'm asking to play left tackle and right tackle. Yeah. And kind of just the, the feel and the footwork changes a little bit. And you can see, all right, on one particular side, he feels a little bit more comfortable than he does the other side. And that's, you know, that's us as coaches saying to our players, let's put them in an uncomfortable position and see how they respond. That to me is part of coaching. And, you know, we can't just make it all comfortable and easy for them because we know on Saturday afternoons it's not going to be that way. Mm -hmm. to the center position. Yes. What's your depth looking like? Well, yeah, right now we have uh, multiple guys. I, I really like how yeah. No John's coming yeah. up. You know, you have Evan who can do it. Um, shoot, we've even had Tyler take some snaps there. Our biggest thing is finding that younger guy that younger guy who's going to come in and, you know, it's always been a philosophy of ours is we're not going to balk on graduation. And obviously in my room, a year from now, we graduate a whole lot. So where's that developmental process with those younger guys? But I do like where we're at right now with it. I, I feel, let me say this, I feel more comfortable after six practices than I did after one.